I'm going to show you the new features of Shake 1.0 relative to Shake 1.0. Before we start, Shake 1.0 works with um, the iTouch or iPhone uh, operating system 2.0 or 3.0. If you're running on the 3.0 operating system, you should probably um, acquire Shake Pro. It uses all the new features that are available with Shake um, with 3.0 that weren't available in the 2.0 operating system. So let's go over the new features that are in Shake.1. Um, it's basically that we've added three new data sources for earthquakes. Let's go to our settings and let's look at those data sources. Select slat the settings then sh select shake from your settings menu data source and you'll notice that there's three new settings this is the European Union settings for the European Union's feed of earthquakes Italy has its own feed for earthquakes which includes only earthquakes from Italy and New Zealand has its own feed for earthquakes again including only their earthquakes in general the the earthquakes that are supplied by these feeds are are unique meaning that the European Union's list of earthquakes is different than what's going to be provided by the USGS in general the USGS is um, has is very strong on earthquakes in Alaska and the United States and North America the European Union earthquake list is very strong on earthquakes in the European Union and in the surrounding region. Italy only includes earthquakes that are occurring in Italy, but their list is more complete than the European Union's worldwide list. And New Zealand, again, only incl includes earthquakes that are occurring in New Zealand. So just as, a, as an example, let's so select the European Union back let's select shake and as you can see it's got a new icon here and it's showing only earthquakes that are coming in from the European Union feed let's look at map all <coughs> to see how they're distributed and as you can see there's some in North America not too many but many in Europe. Let's go back. We'll set our settings again to all of these different settings. Oops. Shake. Data source. Now let's look at the USGS one worldwide for the entire week. look at the map all again we can see how these earthquakes are distributed as you can see there's a lot more earthquakes but for Europe we only have one earthquake but look at there's many earthquakes that are displayed in Alaska and North America let's go back shake data source let's look at our Italian feed Again, it has a different icon over here. Let's look at map all. And there's a couple earthquakes shown outside of Italy, but there's many earthquakes in Italy. And finally, let's see what the New Zealand feed looks like. And again, we only have three earthquakes, and they're all in New Zealand. And that's the main, um, the main difference between Shake 1.0 and 
1.1. 1.1 includes these new feeds with a lot of new earthquakes. And especially if you're in Europe, you're going to get a many, many more earthquakes than uh, the previous version, which only used the USGS. And that's about it. Thank you.